How to create an Argyle pattern inside Adobe Illustrator. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer and this is Dark Graphics. So the first thing we need to do is activate the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Now zoom into the grid, select the pen tool, click on one of these crosshairs right here, go one square to the left and one and a half square down. Click one time here. Now go to this crosshair right here and simply finish this shape. Now zoom out, go to the selection tool and while holding down the ALT key to duplicate, duplicate this shape one time to the right. Repeat this step two more times. So a quick way to repeat this step is simply to click CTRL D. Now select all the shapes, hold down the ALT key to duplicate this row and drag it down like this. Make sure it fits in between these original shapes. So now, while still having this row selected, select the fill and select a color for this row. I will choose a dark blue color. Now select every other shape in the top row, give it a lighter color and choose the rest of the shapes and give these a third color. Now select all the shapes, go to the stroke and remove the strokes. So now we just need some more copies of these shapes. So while having all the shapes selected, hold down the ALT key and copy these shapes down below. And do this one more time. Now go to the middle row right here and switch up the lighter colors. So select these two, select the fill and select the light blue color. Then select these two and select the lightest color. So now we are done with these shapes and we need to make the dashed lines. So select all the shapes, right click the shapes and click group. This will make it easier in later steps. So as you can see, my shapes are poking out of the canvas, so I will move them up a little bit. Make sure these tips are still touching a crosshair right here. Zoom out to see the entire shape. So now let's do the dashed lines. So for this, select the line tool, go to this exact spot right here, click and drag the line all the way to this spot right here. Then make the stroke wider. I will choose two points and make the stroke black for now just so it's easier to see the stroke. Then go to this stroke menu right here, select dashed line and make the dash and the gap the size you want. For me, it will be five points. Then click round cap. So now we are ready to duplicate this line. So pick the selection tool and move this dashed line to the left until it goes down the middle of this row right here. And make sure to only move the line horizontally and not up and down. This is very important in later steps and we will not be using the bottom of this pattern so it doesn't matter that the line stops right here. So now select the line again and hold down the ALT key to duplicate and simply drag the copy to the left until it goes down the middle of this row right here. And once again, don't move the line up and down only to the left and the right. Do this until you have a dashed line going down every row. Now select the line tool again and draw another line going from this point right here and all the way down to this point right here. And don't make it go further, only to this point right here, so these lines are the same length as these ones right here. So now go to the selection tool and move this line to go down the middle of this row right here. Now simply copy this line to all the other rows. So now we have all the dashed lines we need, but if we zoom in a little bit, we can see that the intersection of the lines is a little bit weird. So zoom out again, go to the selection tool, select everything, hold down the shift key to unselect the group underneath, right click the lines and click group. So to fix this intersection right here, go to the stroke menu and click on align dashes to corners and path ends. So now if we zoom in, we can see that we have a neat little cross inside the middle of each section. So now we can zoom out again. And if you want another color for the dashed lines, you can choose that now. So select the dashed lines and I will select a white color. So now while having the dashed line selected, go to object, go to expand appearance, go to object again and select expand. Make sure fill and stroke is selected and click OK. This will turn your lines into shapes instead of strokes. So now we need to find a tile in this pattern that can be repeated side by side. So select the rectangle tool, go to this spot right here, click and go down to the middle of the shape that has the same color. Then go to the right until we include the shape that has the other color. Now release the mouse key 
and we will have this rectangle right here. But already right now we can see that this shape can be fit together with this shape. Same goes for the sides. This shape can be fit together with this shape. This means that we have a repeatable pattern. So go to the selection tool, select all shapes, go to the pathfinder panel. If it isn't open, you can go to window and find the pathfinder panel right here. So go to this button right here that says crop. And this will use our white rectangle to crop out our tile from the pattern. Now simply select this tile and drag it to the swatches panel. So here we have our pattern. And don't let anyone tell you that a pattern needs to be a square. That's simply not true. So now we can delete this shape, draw a big shape, select the fill and test out our pattern. And as we can see, it fits perfectly. 